So we all have things that we are uh, passionate about, and uh, it's not hard to spot it. In fact, I can throw out a date, and, and I can tell if you're passionate about it, okay? October 23rd. Some of you know what I'm talking about right there. You're like, yeah, the iPhone 12 release party. That's when the iPhone 12 is coming out. Some of you already sold a kidney. You've, you, you've taken out your second mortgage. You're like, I am getting that phone. How about another date, October 30th? That's a little tougher. Some of, you, some of you are there, aren't you? Yeah, that, that is when Mandalorian comes out. We're going to, we got a little, the, the, uh, we, the, the, it's the date. That's, some of you are like, yes, that is it. I, I, I can't wait for season two of the, of the, of the, uh, uh, of the Mandalorian. All right, here's, here's one, November 3rd. <laughs> some of you are dreading that date, I know. But some of you are super excited about that date. I, and you know, you know, uh, and it's crazy you're seeing uh, the Trump stuff and the, and the uh, Biden stuff. My, I got to be honest. I, I am loving the Trump supporters. You guys, you guys are off the chain. I mean, your support for, for Donald Trump is, whether you like him or not, I, it's not beside the point. Like, I mean, you talk about pickup trucks with flags that look like a sail that belongs on a sailboat. I mean, it's just, it's bigger than the truck. I mean, you're, you're, like, for instance, you're, you're, not, see, you're not seeing Joe Biden uh, flags on Priuses. It's just, you're, you're not seeing it. Now, I realize I just stereotype both parties, but hey, again, I am Elijah. That's who I am. So, I mean, the, we have these different dates. So maybe it's, maybe it's not a date. Maybe it's a date. Like, you get, you're passionate about him. Passionate about her. Laura and I, when we were in Colorado at one, one of the parks, I saw this young couple walking up, and man, you could just tell they were on a date. She had on the wolf jeans. That's, that's what I call them, the ones that look like they've been shredded by a pack of wolves. That's the jeans she had on. He had on a button-down shirt like the one I'm wearing. I'm like, what guy wears a button-down shirt to the park? And they both had pumpkins in their hands. And they're just walking along. You can tell they're like, we're going to carve our pumpkins today. Oh, this is so cute. We're just so in love. I mean, we are all, we're all passionate about something or someone. But I want to ask you here, how is your passion for Jesus today in this season? For some of you, when I say that, you, you're like, man, Brad, uh, honestly, uh, for me, it's red hot. I mean, honestly, it, it's just, I, I, I sense the presence of God. I, the peace of God in this season is unexplainable. The joy that I have, I feel like I'm walking in step with him. The scriptures are coming alive. I hear his voice. But, but for, for some of you, that's not the case. It's the opposite of that. You're like, man, Brad, I, <laughs> I honestly, I don't have any passion right now. Uh, the, the fire isn't there. I, I've kind of been overwhelmed by everything that's been taking place. And I just don't really sense God's presence. I don't have a lot of joy. I don't have a lot of peace. Can I, can I just help you for a moment? Every one of us go through seasons like that. Every one of us go through these times where the passion just isn't there. So if the passion is not there, how do you get it back? Or if it is there, how do you keep it? Like, because you, you don't want to lose it. How do you keep it? I, I want you to write this down because this is what we're going to talk about for just a few minutes here. Worship restores the wonder and awe of God. Worship restores the wonder and awe of God. In other words, it restores the passion that I have for God. 